Did one. we really do it? Did we? We'll never tell. We won't tell. <laughs> We're here stirring up another video for you guys. All right. And today we're doing, it's a challenge. So it is called the No Bottoms, no bottoms. <laughs> Chipotle Players Club Challenge. Okay. So that is the nickname that we were given by the life of Riri. And this is her challenge that she made. And congrats to her, because she reached her 1K goal for her birthday. We are starving. We've already said grace before we started the camera. Sure. So we're gonna chow down on some Chipotle. I got the steak, but it's carne asada. So that's the new steak that came out. And he surprised me with my favorite drink. It's the Izzy drink from Chipotle. And it's the sparkling, sparkling blackberry flavor. Then what do you have, babe? Oh, so uh, I have this Sofritas burrito. But guys, this is how you do Chipotle burritos. I finesse Chipotle's every time. This is how you get your <laughs> money's worth Look out of the burrito. Big. Look how big. <laughs> yes, I was even in line and was getting ready to check on. Somebody was like, bro, how did you get a burrito that big? I'll <laughs> never tell. Get... But it is the Sofritas, uh, which is Tofu. The tofu and their tofu is delicious. So, but guys, every time you go to Chipotle's, this is the size your burrito should be. Here's the secret. If you want the secret, double wrap my burrito. Tell them to double wrap it and then you fill that bad boy up with everything. Ask for extra rice, extra beans and make them work. They don't charge you? No. Oh. Make them work to roll your burrito. Okay. Double wrap, get it filled to the brim, and you will walk away with a burrito that can fill, <laughs> can, can feed a village. <laughs> I feel like you're doing a commercial. And then we've got the chips. Of course, you can't, can't go without the chips. Can't go without the chips. Oh, I want to do a little like ASMR. Sounds delicious. So I've never had the carne asada before. I always just get the regular steak. I'm sorry, that's all they had. I apologize. No, no, I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Either that or like wait for, you know, how long the steak be taking. Oh, yeah. It would be like 10 minutes. I mean, like they were cutting bags of steak open. It wasn't even like on the grill. So, you know, that's going to take a while. Dang. They really wrap oh, my yeah. this bad boy up. Double wrap my burrito and bring out the big boy aluminum foil for me. Mm. Oh my mm. goodness. It's about to be on. I'm trying to that so much. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm making so much noise, guys. I'm sorry. I'm eating like... The light. mic is like right there. My bad. I'm, I'm eating for real. I apologize. <laughs> And let you really see who I am. As He's a super person. loud with everything that he does. I get so mad when he gets ready for work in the morning. I'm like, babe, you know our kids are sleeping, especially the baby. Mm. Like, I'd like to sleep in. Sorry, I don't go to work, but I'd like to sleep in because once the kids wake up, it's a wrap. There's no taking a nap for me. Nope. There's very rare occasions where I do get to take a nap, and they happen to take a nap at the same time. It doesn't always happen that way. But um, he's like so loud with the doors and the drawer. No. Yes. I feel like I'm super quiet, guys. I wish I could. I'm stealth in the house, okay? No, but they don't even know when I leave. Oh, I know. Because your son starts crying after you leave. For some odd reason, he can hear the baby gate. So we have the baby gate at the top of the steps and the bottom of the steps. And it's the one at the top. Because it has that little clicker the at the bottom. Latch. The little latch, yeah. For some reason, I can finesse it. And I'm super quiet when I open it. But you, <laughs> I hear it every time. Every time you leave, I hear it. 
unlatch and oh, I know he's about to start crying. And I'm guess what? He doesn't start crying immediately. He starts crying for some reason as soon as you close the front door. Oh, I'm sorry. If I'm opening the shut and stuff, it's because I'm in a hurry. Everybody time's going to work down to the last minute. Let's be for real. You know exactly the last moment you can walk out the door. Everybody does it. I'm trying to get all the last little bit of rest and stuff you can before you have to go to work. I get to bed so late from going to the other job that like I'm trying to I've get tried as to much help rest you out as I recently can. By ironing your clothes and stuff. Yeah, that's been a huge help over my spills all day. Oh, we didn't do a thumbnail. Oh shoot. Oh your thing's falling apart. That's the only thing about the double wrap. I always forget. <clears throat> we can do it. No, I got food in my mouth, sorry. I'm looking at um, Do I have anything on my face? Mm-mm. Anything? Oh, God. Perfect. Okay. All right. Mm. I'm glad you remember the thumbnail. No oh, worries, good. I just don't understand. Like, I need to make that, like, a routine. Right. But... That and then the thumbnail. This is what we do first. You do the thumbnail and then you right. eat. But I don't. I think to. we're just so hungry. I think so too. What do you think about? What did you think about those Utz chips today? Mm. The red hot joints. Did you like them? Yeah, I did. But I'd rather have. I don't know. Hot fries. Yeah. I thought you would like the flame of hot Cheetos because those are like my favorite. The flaming mm -hmm. hot fries. Oh man, they're there. I like flaming hot Cheetos with the lime in it. Oh, uh, I didn't see those. But the flaming hot fries were good. Okay, did you say the carne asada has like lime or something on it? Yeah. It does taste limey. And like, I think cilantro. Okay. I don't taste too much of the cilantro. Is it good? I mean, it's not bad at all. But, but I do not prefer their steak. Yeah, their regular steak. I prefer the regular steak. That's their it has claim a different to fame. taste. It's like the regular steak is more it tastes more like fresh off the grill or right. something. It's well, that's because they're always cooking it. Yeah. People always get the steak. No, it has that that smoky taste. That's what I like. I like the smoky taste. So guys, we're doing the um, no bottoms challenge. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not really much to talk about. It is what it is. No bottoms. <laughs> Bottomless. So they were talking Ooh. about, I was a little, <laughs> <laughs> I was a little late in the life of Riri's live chat and they were talking about this challenge because it's funny. They were talking about how she's always like, not just her, but like everyone. When we do these videos, you only see the top half of us because we're eating. So it's like, Bro. you don't need to see our whole body anyway. We're just sitting here. <laughs> so... It's kind of funny because as a YouTuber, I completely understand my clothes mismatching. Like, <laughs> my top is looking up to par, and I could have either sweatpants or pajama pants on. Or like today, nothing at all. I mean, not oh, nothing at all. I mean, but. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it reminds me of... I'll talk to people that like do Skype interviews over the phone for jobs out of state. And like the guys will have the suit and the tie and everything fresh and clean at the top. And then at the bottom, they might have like basketball shorts or something on or, you know what I mean? Like, because I'm only or seeing that or nothing at all. <laughs> like no bottoms. I'm only seeing your top half. No need to dirty up a whole bunch of clothes. Come on. <laughs> it's a waste. Two chores I hate most. Can you guess? Washing dishes laundry. and laundry. But we have a dishwasher, so that's helpful. Yeah, but... You still got to, like... Okay, I don't know if y'all feel me on this one, but I feel like a dishwasher does not clean everything well enough. It like, does you it. have to scrub your dishes first. You Make sure there's off. nothing stuck to it. Right. Before you stick it in the dishwasher. The hard part isn't washing the clothes. It's not drying the clothes. The hard part is folding the clothes. Nobody wants to fold the clothes. Putting stuff in the washer, moving it to the dryer, letting it dry, easy peasy. When it comes to folding, though, 
if I just sit there and start folding the clothes, then next thing you know, I'm done. Right. We <laughs> sure got to put them away, though. But it's so hard. I would put them away for you if you had less clothes. This guy has so many clothes. It's not my fault. So many clothes, so many shoes, and we don't even have the space for it. It's not my fault. I don't think. I mean, you have to have certain shoes for certain occasions. Like, you have to have your dress shoes, you gotta have, like, your work shoes, your cutting grass shoes. Okay, you just named, like, four or five pairs of shoes. Your basketball shoes, like, your athletic wear, like, your gym shoes. Okay, you just need maybe, like, having ten pairs of shoes. Probably. But how many pairs of shoes do you really have? I don't know. I haven't done like a head count, but if I had to guess, just... How about you count the ones that are right there? Uh, just looking at the ones that's in the Just this count room. those right there. Yeah, just count them right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pairs of shoes. That are sitting right here. <laughs> right here. I'm sorry. And that's not even close to all of them. I like shoes. I mean, you have to have certain shoes for certain occasions. You have to, there's certain things you just need to have. You gotta cover your bases. You have to have black, white, silver, blue. Like, those are mandatory, okay? Okay, yeah. again, your list only sounds like it should be like 10, maybe 15. But the clothes, I mean, the amount that you just counted in here. Do not fall in any of those categories. I mean... And you just counted like 20-something? 20, 20, yeah. I mean, then you have to have, like I said, I've got boots over here. I've got dress shoes. Like, you have work boots, hunting boots, fishing boots. You know, and then you have, like, dress boots. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta have those things. No, I don't know what you mean. Come on. Everybody knows. Then, I mean... You just can't have like one pair of J's. You gotta have several pairs of I understand the J's. J's. I understand that. Right. Then but how many work shoes do you have? How many cutting grass shoes do you have? How many hunting boots do you have? I mean, so those shoes are turned into that once you've crushed them. Like when they get crushed to the point that you're not rocking them out anymore, they get turned into trash boots. <laughs> like grass... You know, just going outside to feed the dogs, whatever. You so just how many throw those off. Really I mean, the shoes are still intact, okay? They're still good. They're still usable. What, I'm going to throw them away? They're good. They're not falling apart. They're usable. Hoarder. Uh-uh. That sounds like a hoarder. Hoarder in the making. Uh-uh. If he wasn't with me, he would probably be a hoarder. I doubt it. Because I'm like your mom. We just start throwing stuff away. I mean, I definitely have given away... I've given away a lot of shoes. Taking it to Salvation Army or to Goodwill, Plato's Closet. I mean, I'm definitely taking stuff away. I've taken clothes away. Like, I do, like, a spring and a fall, like, stuff I felt like I haven't worn. Spring cleaning. Kind Spring of thing. cleaning. If I hadn't worn it like all year or haven't seen it, mm -hmm. I'll get rid of it. But then my problem is I usually get something to replace it, <laughs> so it never really goes away. It's not even you. His dad just buys him stuff. Like his dad will be out and see a good deal. That's the kind of person he is. He's a bargain shopper. So if he like sees a good sale, he'll just get it. Right. He just can't pass up on it. And instead of just getting something for himself, he gets his son's stuff, too. My dad's a good dad. And on top of it, now my daughter, and then soon to be Jacob is going to be the Oh, one. yeah, Jacob's going to be the one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm saving my shoes for him. Like, there's going to be a day he's going to be wearing these shoes, and they're going to be classic, like, holy grail shoes. Good look, Dad. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you're out and you think of me... Go ahead and pick me up something. I'm not mad at all. I will definitely rock it. Love you, man. <laughs> You've helped build a whole wardrobe for me, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Can he build some closets for you, too? Uh -huh. 
this is our starter home. You know, we were young when we were getting the house. We we just picked one, you know? Okay, we didn't literally just pick one, but mm. we didn't really know exactly what we were supposed to be looking for in a house. You know, we were just looking for a place and for you and I to live mm-hmm. and in our future to have a family, you know? So we counted the bedrooms and stuff. We're like, okay, three bedrooms, not bad, right. you know? That's a good amount for a family. But, um... Two bathrooms. But we didn't look at, like, closet space, <laughs> storage space. Right. Space in the, like, um, storage space in the kitchen. I feel like, I'd say I feel like it's falling apart. Like, I was talking to somebody about it. It's not falling apart. It's no, settling. Look, it's got age on it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Settling. Mm-hmm. Since 1940-something, it's been settling. I think the ground changes every day. That just doesn't sound right to me. Look. I just started noticing cracks in the wall. I'm like, is the wall about to just crumble and fall? No, What's that's happening? No, that's sheet rock. <laughs> sheet rock moving, changing. Well, that scares me. Why is it moving? Because it expands and contracts. It gets high, it gets cold. It happens all the time. It happens to all people's houses. When you first see the house, it looks beautiful. It's fresh paint. Brand new carpet. You know, everything's covered up. And then the real starts happening. You're like, okay, this is part of the process. But I still think, A, we got a house for a great deal. And when mm-hmm. I'm talking about a great deal, I'm talking about a steal of a steal. Yeah. Newly, I wouldn't say like newly renovated, but it got the typical facelift, paint carpet. Uh, they redid the bathrooms. Renovated and redid, the kitchen. And renovated the kitchen. That's the typical facelift that you're going to get when somebody's flipping the house. But they really redid the kitchen. Yeah. Like, it's a brand new kitchen. Brand new kitchen. Brand new roof. So, like, those are your facelift. That's the most important. Mm-hmm. Super still of a deal. Okay. And then, we're in a very well-to-do, up-and-coming neighborhood. Like, we're close to a lot of things that are going on. You know, we're close to the raceway. We're close to shopping centers. We're close to the interstate. Like, we're close actually to city, like close downtown. to the city. Like, I mean, we're in the heart of everything. It only takes us, what, 10 minutes. Wherever to, we go, it's like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes to get to any major part of our city. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, this area is up and coming. You know what I mean? So, it was... Look, guys. I saw the vision. I was thinking ahead, okay? I'm looking at, you know, people renting this house out eventually. Colleges are really close to this area. Come on, your boy was thinking. We'll clean the house up. We'll get the cracks taken care of, and we'll facelift it again and make it look good. But overall, we and want we'll to move. have, and we're going to move, right? And we'll rent this out or something or sell it, whatever. But we're thinking assets. We're thinking, you know. And then I, we did stuff to it. You know, we built the privacy fence, and then we that's right. paved, paved the, the driveway. driveway. Like, yeah. Real estate is where it's at. Everything comes down to money at some point. Like, you're yeah. trying to get something in your price range, you know. Building a house or doing that type of thing would require, A, probably living in an apartment longer and just giving my money to somebody yeah. else. and that's what my made us buy the house. Because we just realized all these years we were living in apartments or renting homes, we were just paying extra for nothing for sure. that we owned. Right. We didn't own anything. Right. You know, we had to follow by these rules and stuff. Now, the apartments were nice because if anything messed up, someone else fixed it. Mm-hmm. At no cost, you know, because it was part right. of it. But you're paying for it. <laughs> I mean, but you're paying for right. it. But, um, and then when you rented a home, you, for the most part, you were still responsible to fix it. Except right. for major things like um, the AC or something like that. Right. But other than that, you're kind of on your own. I mean, in renting a house, I'll, let's be honest, all you're doing is just paying somebody else's mortgage for them. Yes. You know what I mean? Like... And I totally get renting a house out for the purpose of, you know, maybe your um, maybe your credit score isn't good enough to get you a, a homeowner loan or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I get that. I mean, I think that's the position we were in, trying to build up the credit, whatever, whatever. what whatever. I learned sucks about renting a home is having a landlord. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that mm-hmm. was not a good experience for us. <laughs> I feel like when you deal with stuff with friends or family... Right. When it comes to major stuff, major money, it always starts things. It, it just does. It does. So. Money can ruin so many relationships. 
And so, people like, love. when we decide to rent out this home. Yeah, I love my family. I do. And, I like, I know I have cousins and I stuff that want to rent this house. I just don't want us to put but... ourselves in a situation we don't want to be in. For sure. Because we love our family too much. Right. So, why would... We love them so much that we won't rent out the home to them. For real. Because <laughs> yeah, we don't I mean, want to ruin that relationship. For sure. And I've seen it go sour, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Over something like this. It, oh, yeah. So, it's like no point. Yeah. You know, don't put yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. Right. I mean, I've had family rent out other family stuff, and we'll just leave it at that. It wasn't pretty. You know what I mean? So, it's not the best thing, I think, to do. I think you're better off just paying one of those companies to find people to come and stay at your house. They handle the money, all that type of stuff. All you do is pay them like whatever little charge that they charge you for the month. And pretty much your hands are off of it, which is perfect. To be honest, I just want to go to the mailbox or not even the mailbox. I just want to look in my account and see a direct deposit in there. And I got it while I was sleeping and I absolutely did nothing. Because you're making money while you're sleeping. It's residual income. Residual income. Somebody else is out there buying your product or whatever you may have it. And you're literally doing nothing. Except looking in your account to see if your check came through. That's all I want to see. I just want to see my account full and I did nothing. But, I mean, most of the time you're giving money to somebody else. Like, you've invested. Like, but that's, a, for me, that's great. Invest my money and just watch my money make money for me. Oh, God, thank you. That's what I want. I want my money to make money for me. I don't want to do nothing but let my money make money for me. I will loan money. I'll be a silent partner. I don't want to be the face of nothing. All I want to know is... On the 15th or the 30th or whatever date, I know this money is dropping in my account and I didn't have to go work for nobody else to get it. And that's what it's about. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think we should close out just because I don't know how much longer, how much memory I have left. Okay, that's cool. Plus, I'm like... Well, <laughs> I stopped eating because... So this is going to be sure. something that's it's going to get a thumbs down for me. You didn't like the steak? Well, I love steak regardless. Right. I didn't like how it was extra, had like that lime to it. Mm -hmm. It was too much lime. Oh, wow. So maybe it was like shrimp or something. I could do the lime, mm -hmm. but just not on my steak, really. Um, but if you could see, I have a lot left, but no steak. So you ate all the steak? Because the steak was long. Oh, yeah. So with my bite... I have a big piece of steak. Right. Unlike the regular steak with That's Chipotle, true. they're it's like nice. little cubes. So with every bite, I had like one cube mm. of steak with every bite I took. This was like a bite with a whole thing of steak. And now it's all gone. Right. There's no steak left. So, so. Chipotle, if you're watching this video, guys, <laughs> the new steak, just dice it. Cube yeah, it. do why the do same they thing you're doing. Long? Yeah, why would yeah. they keep it long? Wow. I mean, I'm not gonna bash the whole lime and cilantro on the steak. Whatever, whatever floats other people's boats. But for at least dice it mm -hmm. so that it's not as long. And then don't tell me that I should cut it. Right. How inconvenient. You cut it. And now you're just making me waste an, a knife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if I'm using a real knife, that's an extra. Thing I have to wash now. Exactly. After we just talked about that earlier. I ain't trying to wash these dishes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, so I enjoyed my Chipotle as much as I could with as much steak as I had. Mm. He really enjoyed his. I'm done. He's He needs to be done. Oh that thing gosh. was huge. Was humongous. But yes, yeah, oh, so gosh. we're eating the Chipotle. Well, we ate our Chipotle with no bottoms. No bottoms, guys. Did well, we really do it? Did we? We'll never tell. We won't tell. I'll see a naked leg. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> naked legs. Yeah. That is hilarious. Thank you for watching. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button down below. We would love you to join our family. And please comment as well. We love to hear your feedback. Tell us what you enjoy. Tell us what you might not have, what you may not have enjoyed. Um, so we can work on that. And um, 
And I know we haven't had JoJo on here in a while, but this was her thing, and, you know, with all the, like, kids stuff with YouTube and things like that. We can't yeah. have her on here much, but she is taking a nap. Okay. <laughs> at 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. Hey, it's a Saturday. It's just, okay. We'll be up all night regardless. <sighs> but, yes, so if you enjoyed what you saw, please give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up.